All right, so our chorus is going to sound like this. What's going on, guys? Today we are going to learn I Love You So by The Walters. I'm going to be playing on this one on an acoustic guitar and a simplified version. This is an electric guitar song, but if you're playing on electric, you can play the same thing and it'll work just as well. Let's get into it with the part played in the verse, which is going to be really easy. We're going to start capo on the third fret. If you don't have a capo, you really should get one because they're really useful. We've just got two chords and they're played for four beats each. So we're going to start with an A minor 7, which is just an easier version of A minor. And you're going to play that once and hold it for four beats. And then switch it to G. <laughs> that there is the entire verse. There you go. That's all there is to it for this verse part. You can play that for the entire verse one. So then we're going to move into the chorus. And we're going to add in two more chords and a different strumming pattern. So this is where it's going to be a little trickier. All right, so our chorus is going to sound like this. So then the chords we're going to play are going to be A minor 7 to D to G and then end on B7. This B7 is going to be the one that gives you the most difficulty because you're kind of cramped a little here with your fingers. It is a little bit awkward to play. The one thing I can suggest is using this four finger G chord because then you can just slide over your pinky and throw the other ones in place. It's a little bit easier transition than just the three finger G chord. You can see that in the diagrams there, but just note that this one's probably going to take you a little bit. So don't worry if you struggle with this in a bit. And then it's going to be a little bit tricky to shift back to the A minor 7. One way you can make this B7 easier is just playing these four strings. And don't worry about the pinky. The one thing is you want to make sure that pinky doesn't ring out. So you want to focus on kind of just hitting those strings. Or just putting your pinky on top of that string. Lightly just to mute it a bit so that you can strum and it doesn't play. Or you can try the full B7 if you're feeling a bit adventurous. So, pick which version of the B7 you want to try, just go with whichever one is easier, it doesn't make that big a difference. And then we're going to try this strumming pattern. Played slower. So that's the strumming pattern, so let's break this down a little bit. Strumming patterns are easiest to learn by just listening to what I'm playing and trying to get a sense of the groove and the rhythm and then just following along. Um, you'll get a better ear for music if you kind of just listen to it. But breaking this down, we have two parts to the strumming pattern. First is the A minor 7 to the D part. So you're doing down, 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 up on the A minor 7, and then you switch to the D. So you're playing that part, and then you're doing the exact same strumming when you switch from the G to the B7. So you can hear how the first part, A minor 7 to D, is the same strumming as G to B7. And then you put them all together, and you've got a two-bar pattern on four cards. So 
So you're going to want to practice that, start slowly, try and get a sense of the rhythm and break it down, and then just practice it a bunch until it starts to come together and you start to feel the rhythm. If you are still struggling with your chords or strumming after watching this video, make sure to check out my course in the description below this video where you're going to learn to do all this stuff and play full songs. So with that said, once you have that down, that's the entire chorus, that's the trickiest part of the song. Then we're going to go into verse 2, and this is going to be the final part of this song, and it's going to be the exact same strumming as in the chorus, except now we're going back to the verse chords. So the verse chords, if you remember, were A minor 7 and G. And now we're going to play the chorus strumming on those chords. And that's all there is to the second verse. You can see how it's just the exact same strumming pattern as in the chorus, except we're not switching between two chords mid-pattern. It's just A minor 7 and then to G. And then when you get back into the second chorus and the rest of the song, you're just going to play that chorus progression, which just to refresh your memory sounded like this. And that is all you need to play this entire song. Just so you know, on the very end of the song, it has that chord that rings out, and that's going to be a G. So if you can play those parts, you can play this entire song. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that and hit the notification bell so that you get all my latest uploads right as I post them. Thanks for watching. If you still are struggling with the chords and strumming, make sure to check out my course in the description below of this video. And I'll see you next week for the next video.